Manny, when I visited you at, at Wildcard Gym a couple of weeks ago, you told me that you and Manny Pacquiao will be retiring together uh, when the time comes. Uh, let me know, what does Manny look like he has left at this point? How's Manny look? He looks crazy as well, right? Doing that. I remember doing Manny about 10 years ago, that when I, when I see you slowing down, that he will retire. And he told me, he says, and then when I see you slowing down, you'll retire. I said, no problem. <laughs> Uh, How do you see the first round playing out, Freddy? Mm, I think um, we need to start fast and uh, I, I think it's going to be a very, very quick start. Uh, the other day during the press conference, someone asked, would Manny fight Josh Taylor? And he says, that's an intriguing fight. What, what would you make of that fight? Uh, who's Josh Taylor? Come on, Freddie. The undisputed, undisputed champion. champion. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Freddie. Okay. You know who Josh Taylor is. Come on. Give it there. Give it there. What do you mean? You and there. What do you mean, Ramirez? I've never been offered that fight in my life. No one's ever talked about that fight. It's not, it's not something that's out there, you know? I mean, uh, yeah, he's a he's word. He's multi of the time of the champion. But it, it's never been spoken about. So how can I give you a good answer? I can't. Freddie, speaking of fights that uh, Manny potentially could have been in, could you talk to me about, uh, do you know anything about the situation with him and Terrence Crawford and why things didn't come to fruition? Uh, another guy that was just, he, he was never offered that fight by anybody, any promoter. And if a promoter offers a fight, you have to consider it. Everything that promoters offer it. But if they don't offer the fight, you're not going to even think about it until it happens. So there was no official offer from Bob no, Arum and yeah, Terrence Crawford's no. camp? No. Freddie, was there any hesitancy for you when Spence pulled out and then the offer of Ugas just being the, the difficult style that, that Ugas is? Um, I showed him like he came right away on him and set it up again. And then you know, Manny told me that's going to be our opponent. And uh, at this point, I don't, I don't pick the opponent. Pacquiao picks the opponent. He fights who he wants to fight. And uh, so he, 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 yeah, I told him what I thought, and uh, the fight's on. How's it now, training Manny? That happened afterwards. Was there? A, I mean, you only had what X amount of days of, of sparring, right, to, to be able to work with Manny. And, and was that enough? Yeah. Do you feel, that, or did he jump into we got, you know, facing right hand or right away? We got three right hands right right away, and the sparring went, went, went well. And the thing is, we fight right hand right hand fighters all the time. It's not like it's not like soft fights are maybe a little bit once in a while and really unusual. But fighting another guy in the fighter, there's not too many really bad, big adjustments we have to make. Just the adjustments we have to make is of this guy's style, not that he's right-handed. What's it like now training Manny? How's it different from 20 years ago when you first started? Same, same, same. He works his ass off every fucking day. He does. Still t today, he works. He, he's very dedicated. Um, I haven't seen him in two years, but he sends me tapes of all his workouts, and I, yeah, I think we're study his workouts okay. and give him my, my my comeback on it. And uh, you know he's been training for a long, long time. But the thing is, you know I haven't seen him in two years. But the thing is, he still trains every day. Two if more he, questions, if, guys. If he's not hey, boxing, Freddy. he's playing basketball. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Freddy is thinking of possibly, or the rumor is of him running for. Um, President, mm -hmm. uh, what would you think of that? I say that a lot to him, and he just smiles at me. And I, 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 I don't get an answer from asking him who he's going to fight next or <laughs> if he wants to run for president. What was uh, Manny Pacquiao's motivation uh, after the pol being a politician and to be back in the ring just for one more contending fight? What was that motivation to pull out? Well, you know, man, he still knows what he does best, and that's what he does best is box. You know, and will we see him well. uh, take on Floyd Mayweather? You think he may go back in, come back out, or it's optional? Yeah, will he change his mind when he starts talking trash? Possibly. Yeah. Right. So you know, you have to ask Manny that and question, because Manny's the one that makes the fights. Again, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, I, you know, I would love to get a rematch with Floyd Mayweather myself, but the thing is, 
I'm not that good a fighter. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace